Well, I figured I'd get back on here and try to talk some sense into people. Nah. <laughs> First you got half sense. Anyhow, now I was going to talk about, you know, some of this prepping stuff. You know, they want to talk about, you know, all this food you're supposed to get and blah, blah, blah. You know, like I always say, community is important. You know, what are you going to be, the lone wolf out there? They don't last real long. Thing of it is, is, you know, if you have a, a family, you can count on good friends and stuff. Even if families have screw-ups. But if you got somebody that, you know, you can put in charge of buying, you know, 25, 50 pound bags of flour. And another one, 25 pound bags or 50 pound bags of sugar. You know, another one buys, you know, yeast. And another one buys, you know, you split the cost up. And then when at the end of the day, Christ, you might have enough uh, stuff to make bread for the next 50 years. Who the hell knows? But what I'm getting at, many hands make a light load. And the thing of it is, too, is with some of this prepping stuff, especially, you know, they think, oh, we're just going to walk through the woods and go through the uh, shit hits the fan or whatever, and everything will be fine. Well... You're not going to get hurt. Accidents happen. They want to sell you a little blood clotting thing for some outrageous amount of money on their website that they're pushing you to. Hell, go to any farm store, vet place. Well, not a vet place. They're a little more expensive, but a farm store. And you can buy usually like a, like a, I don't know, 32 ounce thing of blood clotter for, you know, little or nothing. Same thing with self, uh, uh, adhering wrap, you know, gauze wrap and, and bandage and stuff. Then they sell all that stuff there too, man. You get your favorite color. You know, and it's a lot cheaper. Hell yeah, it works on animals. Work on people too. You know, you know, just look around, you know, and, and try to get the best price you can on this stuff. That's the main thing. Search around, you know, get on eBay and Amazon and every place else. Damn dog out there raising hell. Anyhow, that's all I'm getting at. You know, be careful. Don't get ripped off. You know, you know, buy some gasoline. You know, go buy some, I don't know, five, six gallon cans. Don't buy that ethanol crap if you can. If you can avoid it, don't. I know gas prices are high, but buy, buy the good stuff that doesn't have ethanol in it. You know, over a period of time, ethanol and, you know, the alcohol and then the gas will separate. Ethanol, it just attracts water, moisture. It, it, it's pretty crappy if you ask me, but thing of it is, though, too, is you shouldn't let it sit maybe more than a couple months and then dump it in your car and go fill your gas can again. You know, get three or four gas cans. You know, get a dozen. It doesn't matter. You know, because, you know, if you need the fuel, you've got it. You know, and on top of that, I don't know if they still make them, but Coleman, especially, years ago, they made the dual fuel little stoves and stuff where you could put unleaded fuel in it or use their camp stove fuel. You know, kind of nice. You know, I don't know if they still make those, but if not, I man, go to garage sales, you know, flea markets, uh, Look in your local auctions in, in your town, you know, see who's having an auction, maybe selling some camping stuff. You know, try to get your money to go further. You know, I've never been one to spend a lot of money. I mean, I say that. I should have my fucking head examined. But anyways, just, you know, be, be as frugal as you could possibly be. You know, everybody's out there to take your money, screw you over one way, shape, or form. I, I don't get it, you know, you just be honest with people and then life's a whole lot easier. So anyways, I hope I hope maybe this helped you a little bit, you know, maybe let you think and, and plan a little better. You know, you know, like a gas mask. Okay, you got a gas mask. How many filters you got? 
You know, and, and, and what's the gas mask rated for? All kinds of chemicals and this, that, and radiation. I mean, you got to look at this stuff. And the other thing, we got these iodine pills. You know, you take these and by God, fill your thyroid with this iodine and it'll, it'll save you. Well, there's all kinds of radiation. Remember that too. But the thing of it is, is, okay, big thing goes off. Oh, I better take that. Well, it takes time for it to get in your thyroid. By that time, what the hell? What, you're supposed to just take these things every day like uh, like vitamins to, to keep your thyroid filled in case someday that never happens? Really? Hell, we got a better chance probably of, of getting a, I don't know, super volcano, a Yellowstone blowing up and obliterating us than we do these j fucking yahoos, you know? I mean, none of them want to live in a hole the rest of their life. Like I said, they, they enjoy their yachts and their damn mega mansions and all this and crap. But, I mean, their horses and, and you know, airplanes and cars and stuff. They don't want to be stuck in some damn hole in the ground. I mean, really? And a lot of people they know is going to die. I'm not saying you don't have some crazy son of a bitch out there that, that little young junk that, you know, did his little... I don't know, trailer for his evil villain movie. I don't know what he's done, but, you know, who knows? Somebody needs to just sit that boy down and set it straight, or if not, well, <laughs> let him uh, you know, push up some daisies. Anyways, I could rant for hours, but I'll let you folks go. You have a good one, like I always say, man. Believe in God. You know, God can protect you from everything and anything. And not just that, but, you know, be kind to each other and generous. That's what we're here for. To obey God and to treat thy neighbor as thyself. That's what we're here for. You do that, you don't need laws. You don't, you don't need these damn politicians. You don't need these criminals in office. You don't need anybody telling you how to live your life. You're living it right. Anyhow, y'all take care now.